Hey guys, I just want to go over a quick open goal like beginner modding tutorial on how to make a basic checkpoint randomizer uh, using the new open goal mod base. Something me, Barg, and a few other people have worked to uh, put together and it basically just makes creating simple mods much easier so that way you can just kind of get your feet wet and experiment and learn uh, and uh, just do some cool things with Jack and Daxter. Um, I'm going to record this whole video in one shot, um, so that way if I run into any issues or anything, we'll be able to see how I troubleshoot through them. Um, and yeah, uh, honestly, let's just dive into this. So the first thing you're going to need is the mod base inside of Visual Studio. Once you have that, you're going to see that you have the goal SRC folder, that's where all the source files are for the game. Uh, Jack1, because we're playing with Jack1 and modding it. Now you're going to see the engine folder, open that up, and then open up mods. And we added two files here, define custom functions here and put custom code here.gc, both of these. Now we're going to go ahead and open both of these up. And so the first thing you have is define custom functions here. This is where we like define custom variables and custom functions that our mods are going to use. Um, and then we have put custom code here.gc. Inside of here, this is where we're going to put those variables and those functions to either run every frame or run on orb pickup or run on cell pickup or run on jack spawn, etc. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get into this. So, with this, it's kind of, it's almost like cooking. Like, we need to get our ingredients before we're ready to make this mod, right? So we're thinking checkpoint randomizer. What do we need? Uh, we're go let's go ahead and make a little note here. And just uh, inside of here we can just type whatever we need. So the first thing that we need is a list of checkpoints that we can um, teleport to. Then we need a, um, a function that returns a random checkpoint. Then we need to find the code that teleports Jack um, to a specified checkpoint. And then for add this code into a function that is triggered when you grab cell but modify it to use the function that returns a random checkpoint. And, you know, realistically, this is all we need to do. So, we can do it in any order we want, but let's uh, just go one, two, three, four. So the first thing we're going to need is a list of checkpoints that we can teleport to. So, we're going to want to store them inside of an array of strings. Um, I don't remember exactly how to declare an array of strings or anything of that nature, uh, but the cool thing with this is that you can click this search button and you can just search for array and you're going to get a lot of stuff, but all of these are some, like, some kind of like example code that you can use. So I'm just going to scroll through, because um, I've seen most of these before. And eventually we should find... Um, we see these inline arrays. Um, we see that array float. We're looking for like an array, preferably an array with strings in it would be great. Gotta sit here for a while on the first. Um, I believe this is match whole word. What is this match case? Use regular expression. I think we can now type in array string, can't we? Okay. Um, 
sometimes you get stuck up on one or two. Static task hint control group that contains the tasks, and then this is a list. If you see that, it is a new static box array um, that control that has um, types of task hint control. So if we just steal this code and go to our custom function, and we do define, and we want to define um, list. Now we say instead of a type of um, hint control, we want to have it hold strings instead. Type string, and we will give it a. Link. Oh, there's no link here. Okay, we'll do that. And then we replace this with um, beach start. Save it and we go to our goal C and we run an MI and we just hope it works. Uh, run a reload MI just to make sure. I believe with these box arrays you can also provide it length and say like let's let's do length five um now having only two things isn't very interesting so let's try let's add sunken start um fire canyon start and swamp start obviously you know you could add a bunch more one two three four five five could add, you know, all of them, but for demonstration purposes, we don't need to, so we're not gonna. Uh, reboot your game in debug mode, and go where you were, goal C, where you were doing your LTing and MI, and we're gonna want to do an LT, and then an MI, to connect the, the goal C window to the game. And now we have this as a list of checkpoints, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do inspect list of checkpoints. And we see that it is an array with a length of five. Um, and these are the things that are stored in the data slot zero, one, two, three, and four. So now that's great and all, but we only want a specific thing from this array. So let's say we want sunken start. What we would do is we would say um, list of checkpoints, but we want to reach inside of it, so that's kind of an arrow, it's like reach inside of this object, and reach into um, field number two. And this should give us sunken star. And it does give us sunken star. And if we give it like, you know, say three, we get fire canyon star. So this is, this is perfect. We're getting our random checkpoints. It's looking good. So now we're gonna create another function, defund. Uh, give it a name and this is going to be it random checkpoint from list and inside of here all we're going to do is copy this code now the only problem is this is always going to give us whatever is stored in slot number three uh, but what we really want is um, anything that is stored in slots zero one two three or four so we replace this three with a function called rand grew int range. And we say we want something between zero and four. So now when this code runs, this will create a random int between the ranges of zero to four. 
and then this will reach into the list of checkpoints and whatever number was rolled is what it will return. So we're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is just test the code outside of the function. So we're going to copy this, this code right here, go to REPL and we're going to paste it in and we hit enter, give us beach start, sunken start, beach start, sunken start, beach start, sunken start, game start, swamp start. So this looks great. We're getting a random checkpoint. Perfect. So we've got, let's go back to our list here. List of checkpoints that we can teleport to. Done. Function that returns a random checkpoint. Done. Find the code that teleports Jack to a specified checkpoint. So we just know about Jack and Daxter. And we know that there's this thing called the debug menu. And that when you go to game and when you go to continue, it lists all the checkpoints and when you pick one it teleports jack there like so so we can use that knowledge to kind of like guess in the code where to look so we're gonna go to um game or we're not gonna go to game but we're gonna go to debug and then there is this file called default menu.gc and this is the the um the debug menu and we're going to search because we know we're messing with continue points we're going to just search for continue and we see we get this um function here defund dm current continue it takes in a string and a debug message um and if if the debug menu message is press then do then do this command right here, start, play, get, continue by name, game info, arg0. And arg0 is the string. Um, and then, and if it's, if it's equal, I don't get, I don't get that second part, honestly, but anyways. So this code here looks promising. So we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna go back to that window where we're doing our LT and our mi and all that kind of stuff right here. We're gonna paste it in, and we're gonna replace arc zero with just some checkpoint, like beach start. And now we're, oh great, we found the code where we can provide it a, a string and it will teleport us there. So we copy this whole thing. And we go into our put custom code here. And we say, when, when do we want this to run? Let's have it run um, every time you grab a cell. Why not? So we paste it in. Um, start, play, get continue by name, game info, beach start. The only issue we have now is that this will always be beach start. So we replace this with the function that we uh, created earlier called get random checkpoint from list. So now, Anytime we pick up a cell, it will run the code start, play, get continue by name, game info, and then it'll return a random checkpoint from that list. So again, this is my first time doing this. I don't know if this is going to work, but that should be it. We, we've done, gathered our ingredients, cooked up our mod, and yeah, let's uh, find out if it works or not. But that's really as simple as it is. It's literally just figure out. Oh, uh oh, let's try a reload of mine. Um, but yeah. Anyways, we're just trying to uh, do a reload of mine. Make sure we rebuild the game fresh. Because for some reason there it didn't boot. I couldn't even tell you why, honestly. And then we go here and we pop open our gk.exe. And we are entering title like every second, so I did something wrong. Okay. Maybe I messed up the runs on cell pickup code. Let's try let's try it on orb pickup for now. Cause some something here is drastically wrong. Um, okay, we we boot. 
So now, because we placed it in the um, runs on orb pickup, uh, it should run any time we pick up an orb. So let's pick up an orb and see if we have a working checkpoint randomizer. Boom. Hey, we go. We're at game start. Can I get this orb before? Yes, I Oh no, I'm still here. Get me out, bro. Oh, this is a terrible one, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, just to, to, to sum everything up, it's, um, it's pretty much just figure out what things we need. In this case, we needed a list of checkpoints we can teleport to, which we made, a function that returns a random checkpoint, um, from the list, uh, which we made right here. We found the code that teleports Jack to a specific checkpoint, and then we modified that code to use our random checkpoint function, and we have a randomizer. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, just let me know in the comments down below. Also in the description, there'll be a link to a Discord, so if you have questions about um, modding or like how do I find this data or that data, or anything like that, uh, be sure to let any of us know and we're happy to help. Peace.